Guys, in today's video, we're gonna have to have hearing protection and we'll never ever have a crow in the garden again, or a deer, or anything. <laughs> hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> well, today you're gonna find out. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> I'll give you some ideas here in just a second. We're gonna have a blast out on the farm. So we're having a lot of trouble with deer in the garden, crows in the garden, no matter what kind of fence, no matter what I put up, something's trying to attack our garden. Either groundhogs, crows, deer, rabbits, uh, anything and everything is trying to get in our garden and eat all of our vegetables. And also we're planting new grass seed over on the back side of the farm and the doves and the turkeys and the crows are eating all that stuff up too. So I reached out to Gimplers and we found a cool solution, several solutions. They had several ideas. So we're gonna go through those ideas today with you and we're gonna show you a crow cannon. It's awesome, that's gonna be the highlight. So we're gonna have a blast today on the farm. Come along and we'll show you this cool apparatus. I'd never heard of it before and I hope this is a solution to keep the critters out of our garden and out of our new grass seed. All right. I ain't afraid of work, I ain't afraid of play, I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. So first thing you need to know guys is we have a problem. The problem presents itself as deer and crows and critters getting in our garden, eating the grassy that we were putting down, uh, basically sucking up money that we need to be using on the farm to feed our family and to grow our new pastures. So I reached out to the guys at Gemplers and they are sponsoring this video. They are absolutely sponsoring this video, I wanna be clear on that. Um, and we found this critter along with oh, this critter. And there's some assembly that's required here, but this is called a Scaraway Crow Cannon. And it hooks to a propane tank. We're gonna show you, oh, if I don't beat it to death first, we're gonna show you how it works. Now we also have, <laughs> they recommended hearing protection. We're gonna need it. This thing is super duper loud. It's just like a cannon. I've already gone around and the friendly thing to do is to go around to your neighbors and say, hey, I'm not blowing anything up down here on the farm. We've got crows in the garden and this is our solution. It's called a crow cannon. And it's gonna go bang, bang during the day. That's just it. So. Uh, this is the long barrel portion of it, and that attaches to the cannon itself. And oh, this is also something that we already have deployed up in the garden. So the deer were coming in at night, and this is a 3D lifelike coyote. And you could use it, I guess, for calling coyotes in to bait them in and or keep the deer out. And I'll tell you, the dogs do not like it. This thing, it's a scary looking critter. It's already up in our upper garden. So we'll take you up there, we'll show you that. And we're gonna do some of the required assembly. There are uh, two options or several options with this crow cannon. You can buy it just the cannon or you can buy an extra special one that rotates around. And that's what we've got to assemble. This is the rotating assembly that goes on this stand. So we'll get it all assembled. We'll hook it up to the propane tank and we'll show you guys how awesome this is. I'm trying to get my neighbor down here to play a prank on him because he's been looking for something like this. I'd never heard of it, but he has big ponds and the geese come in, they poop all over his driveway. It's like the geese know to come to the concrete to take a poop. <laughs> They're building soil, that's what it is. So we'll get this done. Hopefully I can get Tony, my neighbor down here and uh, play a little prank on him. We won't hurt his ears. We'll make sure he has hearing protection, but. This thing's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be hard to not laugh when this thing goes boom. <laughs> so come along, let's have some fun. Let's get it put together. This is pretty big guys. It's a pretty big apparatus. It's probably, I'm gonna say every bit of three or four feet long. Uh, this is something you'd have to haul in the back of an SUV or the back of your pickup truck. And the guys at Gemplers assured me this is going to keep the crows out of the garden for sure. And the deer and <laughs> anything and everything. And that's why we have the rotating assembly. So the bang sounds like it's coming from different areas and that will help to deter all sorts of garden eating predators. Veggie predators. Those vegan predators. Okay, so the stand comes with everything you need and it comes with a nut and bolt and hardware kit and all sorts of washers and screws and stuff. We'll get all that stuff out of the way here. And holy cow, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of parts. And we have to remove the uh, wind cover 
off of here. And this wind cover is what keeps this thing working correctly. So we'll remove the wind cover and we'll get in here and we'll access a few different parts in order to install the rotating assembly. To install the stand, we have to remove this shaft right here and basically it's just held on uh, with a set nut right here. So we'll loosen that set nut real quickly. And then this is the new shaft that will go in its place so that this thing can rotate around. Just like so. And then we'll put our two, uh, our nut and bolt combination right here. Very simple. So if you buy one of these, this can serve as a uh, how-to video real quick too. I don't really want this to be a how-to video, but we'll show you what to do. Comes with a chain, and the chain kit comes with a universal link right there, so you can assemble this chain. And that will go right around this gear. And we're not gonna fully assemble the chain until we're ready to put it on the stand. Okay, so we've got our stand assembled here. It seems like a jumbled mess right now. And we've got the uh, cannon ready to rock and roll. We'll slide this tube right up through here. Comes out. And then it goes right into a uh, receptacle, a little screw-in receptacle right there. So that is your swiveling portion of the crow cannon. Okay, once you've inserted this in, there's a nut on the bottom right here. Then you'll tighten that nut and you'll tighten that nut. Okay, here's the most complicated part of the assembly. So this connects to your propane tank, okay? This line right here needs to be cut at about eight inches, okay? So we'll take that line and hopefully, <laughs> Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight tools, awesome. <laughs> Not awesome, Harbor Freight garbage. Look at that, garbage, garbage, absolute garbage. Uh, so these two hoses right here, I believe will connect together. And then this original hose will go up underneath and connect right here. The kit comes with these crushable connectors. And I just so happen to have the tool to crush those connectors. Now you can simply use a pair of pliers and crush those connectors. So that guy right there is one of those compression fitting connectors for our air hose. And we'll take the supplied connector right here and we'll slip the big end in the big hose and there's the little hose. Before we do that, we better slip on our compression connectors right there and here. Press this guy all the way up on there and then we'll put our fittings in place. Correct spot, tighten one side down, rotate around here. Just like so, and uh, squish the other side down. And then we've got one brass one for down here. Same thing, pinch, pinch. Good to go. Okay, next we're gonna roll this guy back and we have to hook up the remainder of our hose. There we go. Now, we have to put the barrel on. Now this barrel goes on the end and it has a weep hole or a drip hole right there. So you want to put that drip hole down to the bottom. Pre-installed our three bolts right here. These three bolts. So we'll take these three bolts out, put the weep hole down. It's a 13 millimeter. DeWalt, little impact. Love this thing. Love it, love it, love it. That's it. She's ready to fire. We're going to go ahead and test fire this critter before I take it up to the garden just to make sure she works. Before you turn on your propane tank, I've been advised to put hearing protection on because this thing is supposed to be loud. <laughs> Excuse the mess in the driveway. I've got a bunch of metal crates in the driveway. I've got a problem. I can't help but save scrap metal. I like making stuff. So we're going to turn this thing on and get some laughs. I don't know how loud it's going to be yet. It just clicked. It just clicked again. Anticipation's killing me. Oh, come on, baby. I didn't have one part tight on there. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing, man. That is awesome. <laughs> Let's take it up to the garden. Holy cow, my neighbors are going to think I'm crazy. <laughs>
The folks at Gimplers weren't kidding about needing hearing protection. That thing is insanely loud. I feel like I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get some neighbors' attention, that's for sure. Our closest neighbor is about a quarter mile away. Uh, and I've already told them they're gonna hear some loud bangs because we're out here uh, trying to scare off crows. <laughs> Let's go up here and I'll show you the coyote decoy that's been keeping the deer out for the last few days. We've got uh, three or four rows of Blue Lake green beans up here in the garden and it's working. Uh, so the deer were getting into the garden. I've got some Premier One uh, deer fencing up here. However, I don't have enough to encircle the entire garden, so I've got poultry net around there. Well, that's good enough to keep some critters out, but not good enough to keep the deer out. So let's drive around here and I'll show you the coyote. It's a little scary looking. <laughs> so right there is our coyote decoy. Like I said, it's a little bit on the scary looking side, no doubt. But right over here is where we're having the biggest problem with the deer, they're leaning through. I don't have any power on this Premier One deer fencing, so they're leaning through and eating our beans. But as you can see, they, they leaned through and ate a whole bunch of them down, but now they're starting to come right back just because of the coyote decoy over here. This is a rubber coyote decoy, and I guess you could probably use this for hunting coyotes too. Really cool. It just sticks in the ground with a spike and it's got a fuzzy tail right there. And you can rotate it around so if the deer get used to it, you can move it from place to place throughout your garden. Now, you'll notice the green beans are doing awesome. Crows don't bother green beans, man. <laughs> this row was all planted, all one, two, three, four rows here were all planted up in Silver Queen corn. And this is bodacious corn. I wanted to try two different varieties of corn this year. The crows barely touched the bodacious and they tore up the silver queen. I don't know guys, you're gonna have to look it up for me. Is bodacious a GMO? If it's a GMO, maybe the crows didn't touch it because it's GMO. Something in the bodacious corn kept it from getting consumed by the crows. But in this row, in these four rows right here, they ate every single morsel of uh, Silver Queen corn. So let's take off the crow cannon. Let's give you a good look at it here too. So that's what it looks like. Like I said, it's almost four feet long. It is a monster of a cannon. We're gonna set it out here and all of our problems will be solved. It's a little late for this year, for this year's crop of corn, as you can tell. But I'm getting ready to take the Woods Precision Super Seeder over here. It's already hooked to the tractor. I'm getting ready to take that over and start putting down some seed on the other side of the farm. And we've got probably $4,000 worth of seed that we're gonna be putting out, seeding our new areas of land. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. I'm gonna set this thing up and we're gonna fire it off. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this thing, <laughs> it's heavy, man. It's got a carrying handle, but it's heavy. And there is an adjustment right here that you can make it fire, I guess, anywhere between like 45 minutes and every 15 seconds. So we're gonna set it to the 15 second thing just to hear it go off a little bit. I'm gonna drive up to the other side of the farm just to see how loud it is. Uh, it might take you guys along with us, but let's fire it up and... <laughs> Consider this garden protected. Nothing's gonna come in here. That thing is loud, man. It's crazy loud. Whoa, don't you point towards me. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> it, it has a little timer in there that runs off pressure and that pressure will slowly build up and as it builds up, it'll start spinning around a little bit and then it, bam, it fires. It scared the I've got hearing protection on and it's it's a ground shaker dude This is if you want your neighbors to be jealous of how you keep the critters out of your garden That is the toy for the that's a, a tool slash toy <laughs> It's scary <laughs> Oh my goodness guys stick around after the credits I'm gonna go over on the other side of the farm and we'll see if we can hear this thing see if we can pick it up with the mic uh, It is super duper loud that thing's awesome. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Check me out after the credits. We're going to drive way up here and see if we can still hear this thing. I'd imagine I'll never, ever have to worry about deer or crows or critters in this garden again. Awesome. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.
<laughs> that thing is rad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are about, dang, that thing is loud. <laughs> We're about 300 yards away. The building's way over there. You can see it's loud. It's going to work. It's going to keep everything out. I hear crows way off in the distance. Yeah. Gets the job done. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember, there'll be a link from Gimplers.com. Special thanks to the guys up at Gimplers.